Hello everyone, welcome back to Zach's Deck. In today's video, we're going to walk through the process of installing and configuring Soft Ether VPN on Ubuntu 22.04. Soft Ether VPN is a powerful and flexible open source VPN solution that can be very useful for various applications. So, let's get started. Setting up a personal VPN server allows you to securely access devices on your home network from anywhere in the world. This can be useful for tasks like accessing files or controlling smart home devices remotely. A personal VPN server allows you to encrypt your internet connection, providing an extra layer of security when browsing the web, especially on unsecured networks like public Wi-Fi. You'll need a Ubuntu 22.04 system with administrative privileges and an internet connection ideally using a virtual private server VPS. By setting up a VPN on a VPS in a different country, you can virtually appear as if you're browsing from that location, allowing you to access content that might be otherwise blocked in your actual location. It's important to note that when setting up a VPN on a VPS in a different country, you should choose a reliable VPS provider with good privacy policies and ensure that you're in compliance with any applicable laws and regulations. Additionally, consider the potential latency introduced by routing your traffic through a server in a distant location. I recommend Contabo VPS or DigitalOcean. In this video I will use a Contabo VPS. If you want to get a Contabo VPS the link is in the description. The first step is to connect to your Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. You can do this using SSA. If you are on Windows you can use a tool like PuTTY. Since I'm on a Linux machine I will just use the terminal. Next, we need to make sure our system is up to date. Run the following commands. This will update the package list and upgrade any outdated packages. Run this command to install the required dependencies for the Soft Ether software. The command is essentially telling the package manager to install the essential tools required for building and compiling software, along with some additional security-related packages. Now, let's download the Soft Ether VPN server. In your terminal, run the following command. You should use the Lynx terminal-based browser to search for the most recent version of the software. Run this command to install Lynx. Lynx is a text-based web browser that allows users to browse the internet in a command line or terminal interface. Unlike graphical web browsers that display web pages with images, Lynx presents web content in a text-only format. This makes it particularly useful for users who prefer or require a text-based interface, such as those using command line interfaces or screen readers. Next, navigate to the Soft Ether download page within the browser. Navigate through the options using the arrow keys to find the most recent version. Once located, highlight it and press Enter. Don't go for the beta version. Next, select Linux since we installing on Ubuntu. Select Soft Ether VPN Server and press Enter. Choose the version that aligns with your computer's architecture, which is likely to be 64-bit Intel, and press Enter. Select the file and press the D key to download the file. Select the save disk and press Q to quit.
Next extract the file you just downloaded. You should take note of the file name before you download it. You can now navigate to the newly created VPN server directory. You can compile the software by running this command. Let us now move the newly created directory to the USR local directory. Now, set the right permissions on the VPN server directory. Following that, we need to generate certain files to ensure the soft ether server starts up automatically when the Ubuntu server reboots. You can utilize the built-in nano text file editor for this purpose. Paste the following lines in the file and save it. Press Ctrl X. Create a fresh directory and configure permissions for the newly created service. Next, create a new file VPN server service. Copy and paste the following line in the file and save it. Let us now start the VPN service by running this command. Enable the server script to start on reboot by running this command. Enable the server script to start on reboot. SoftEther provides a convenient built-in configuration script that simplifies the setup process. To initiate the script, use the following command. Choose option 1, then press the Enter key twice. You should observe the subsequent output. Leave the destination address blank so it uses the default. Leave the virtual hub name blank. At this stage, it's important to set a password for the management console since it doesn't have a default one. To do this, utilize the server password set command. Configuring the virtual hub for your VPN server is a crucial step in completing the soft Aether VPN setup process. Additionally, make sure to set a password for the virtual hub that is different from the admin password. This ensures a secure configuration. You can call the hub whatever you like. In this example we have used VPN. Let us now configure the hub VPN. To allow VPN clients to receive IP addresses from the server, it's necessary to enable NAT and DHCP virtual server functions. 
To do this, execute the following command. We shall use the default IP range and gateway provided by Soft Ether VPN. You can change the default by running the DHCP set command that is one word in capital letter S in it. Vex create a user for the VPN and set a password for the user. Run the following command. This is a command used in the Soft Ether VPN server environment. When executed in the Soft Ether VPN server's management console, it enables or disables the ISEC Internet Protocol Security VPN function. When you run the ISEC enable command in Soft Ether VPN, it toggles the ISEC functionality on or off, depending on its current state. This command helps in configuring the VPN server to support ISEC based connections, enhancing the security of VPN communication. Please note, the IPsec key will be used for Layer 2 tunneling protocol connections, so please make it as complex as possible. Enter the default hub you created earlier mine was VPN and then exit the configuration. That is it we are done with the configs let us now connect from a Windows machine. You can do the same on a Linux machine just download the client for Linux like we did for the server application. Before we connect to the VPN server let us open up some ports on the firewall. Set UFW to start on reboot by running this command. You can now reboot the VPS server. After you reboot you can check the status of the VPN by running this command. I have not restarted the server that is the reason I'm getting a lot of those yellow lines. I'm now on a Windows machine go to the Soft Ether website and download the client application then install it. You can now create a VPN and connect to the VPN server. Give the VPN a name.
You can enter the IP address of the VPS server. Myself I bought a domain from Namecheap and created in a record pointing to the VPS server with the host name VPN. The virtual hub name we created was VPN so I will choose VPN. Enter the VPN username and password you created earlier. Let us now try to connect to the VPN server. Let us check the public IP address we are now using. The address should be the IP address of your VPS server. This is the address of my Contabo server, so my traffic is being routed through the VPS. And there you have it. You've successfully installed and configured Soft Ether VPN on your Ubuntu 22.04 VPS. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.